Hey guys, welcome. It's Kristen at Decorators Warehouse and we recently asked you guys um, what topics would be of interest for tutorials for this 2020 season. Um, and one of our most asked questions was how do we make the big fun spray toppers at the top of the tree? So we're gonna walk through one of those today doing a fun peppermint and gingerbread theme. We realize Christmas decorating is not one size fits all. So we're gonna do a large topper today, but keep in mind, um, you can always take these ideas and scale them back. And we actually have some videos too that show um, some more simplified topper ideas that still use the sprays. Uh, but this one's gonna be big because <laughs> we are in Texas and everything's bigger in Texas. Um, so what we're doing, it's a peppermint gingerbread themed topper. Um, and the key principles on the topper is we're gonna use sprays. And when I talk about sprays, I mean the pieces that have height, that have texture to them. I'm sorry, those are so loud. Jingle bells. Um, and what you're looking for is you want different textures. So you don't want everything to be tall and skinny. You don't want everything to be a berry. Um, you want a mixture of some height, some more concentrated. So the ones that we've chosen today are this fun jingle bell. Cute little lollipops. Marshmallows, you gotta love these. I think they're so fun. We also have them in pink. And then this cute, cute, cute cookie. And then I love this one too, the gingerbread men. Okay, and last but not least, um, this fun peppermint stick one. So I have six styles in my topper today. Um, kind of a general rule of thumb on our trees, we use about 30 pieces. Um, total on a seven and a half foot tree. Um, so kind of that breakdown, I'm using six styles today. So I'm gonna use about five pieces um, per style. A lot of our trees will use uh, five styles, six of each, um, but you're kind of gonna wanna be in that 30-ish spray range. Use 35 sprays on a nine foot tree. So if you're using five, um, you know, roughly seven of each, but you can kind of do the math to get you where you need to be there. And then on a 12 foot tree, um, once you get tall like that, you're getting quite a bit wider. So um, we usually use about a dozen of five styles, you know, roughly on a 12 foot tree. All right, so I'm gonna jump on the ladder and let's get started. All right, guys, so to get started, we are gonna start with our biggest, bulkiest piece. Um, it's gonna be this fun Jingle Bell spray. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run straight down the pole, okay? And whenever we place them, even though it's gonna kind of come out, trick is always go straight. We're not gonna poke out the side of our tree. So again, it's just running straight down the pole here. Ooh, those are loud. <laughs> And on my first couple pieces, I tend to like to use the greenery and kind of wrap it around to anchor it in place. That's going to kind of create the base. And then as we add more, the stems will intertwine um, to keep everything in place. So I'm going to work one style at a time. And if my first one is straight center, I'm going to come to the side next to it and run that down the pole again. I'm going to anchor that one too. All right, the next one will go behind. And as you can see, we're just kind of working around um, the middle piece that was our support. Okay, my first spray is placed and now I'm going into my second one, which is going to be this fun lollipop spray. And basically with the same concept, stems running straight, I'm going to place them in between the pieces that are already placed. And then once it's kind of in, you can pull these individual pieces out um, to give it that fun interest.
Okay, the other thing I like to do is alternate colors. Um, so if I'm doing a mix of red and white, instead of doing all red, um, we're gonna split it up. So since this is pretty red with some white mixed in, I'm gonna go ahead and add my marshmallow in next. This one's really airy. Um, so that's gonna give us like a nice filler in between the pieces we've placed. Adding the sticks in next. One thing you'll notice too is my stems do always go straight, but then these individual pieces are wired, so you can kind of bend them to get whatever look that you want. Cookies are next. I love, love, love these. So cute. Love this little gingerbread guy. Now, the reason I do him last is like, he's gonna add the biggest impact, I think, because he's so specialized. Um, so now that everything else is placed, I can put this on and get the perfect placement for each of the little guys. Okay, so when all of my stems are placed, um, the last thing I like to do is get at floor level um, and look at the placement of all the individual stems. Um, it's so much easier to tell when you're down on the ground and not up on a ladder. And so if there's anything that looks clumped together or just not symmetrical, um, go ahead and jump back up on the ladder and do a quick tweak on it. Um, I'm constantly tweaking things on my trees all the way up until when I'm done. Okay, I'm done with my stems and I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, kind of the way that I transition from the sprays um, into the body of the tree with the ribbon. Um, so I have two super cute, fun ribbons that I'm gonna be pairing uh, for this tree. And I like to put this one, since it's a repetitive print, on the bottom. Or if you had a solid, I would do the solid on the bottom. Um, but I am going to make um, essentially like a two loop bow right at the base and then start working my ribbon through the tree. So I'm um, gonna layer them. I'm gonna pinch them together 
to create a tail. So as you can see, it's, oh, maybe eight inches. And then I'm gonna make a loop about the same size, probably about eight inches. And then I'm holding it here, I'm gonna twist and then bring that finger around. So what that's doing is it's getting the good, the pretty side back on the top. Okay, so now I'm gonna make another loop, same size, and then I'm gonna twist. Okay, and then I'm gonna be ready to carry this into the body of my tree. And so the reason that I'm doing this is it's going to conceal the stems, but it's also going to create that great transition into the body of the tree. So I'm going to place it right at the base, a little bit off center. Um, and then I'm just going to wrap a branch around it. And that's just a branch of the tree itself. And twist it to secure it in place. Okay. So I want to fluff these out and kind of open them up. And I can use my scissors to create a decorative detail on this scale here. You just hold in half. And then cut at diagonal, so that's called the fish tail. So now with the good side facing forward, I am going to come down about 18 inches or so, make a, a loop, and I don't want it real tight, I want it to be um, kind of loose and flowing. I'm going to wrap a branch around it to secure it in place. Okay, and then once I have that, I'm going to kind of bring it over so I don't want to just go again, because that's going to look too symmetrical. So I want to bring it to one side and create another 18 to 24 inch loop. Okay, and then I'm going to open these ribbons up and then I'm going to cut a tail. So again, just a fold and a diagonal cut. All right, so there you have it. Super fun peppermint and gingerbread uh, spray topper. Um, I'm gonna zoom in here in just a minute so you can see it close up. And then we have a lot of other videos on our YouTube station that'll walk you through the entire Christmas tree decorating process. So with that said, um, thank you for joining us. If you love this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, hit subscribe to our YouTube station and then be sure to visit our website, which is www.decoratorswarehouse.com. Merry Christmas.